My name is John Carrick. We're in Cleveland, Ohio at Carrick Industries. I'm a third generation owner. So we work with medical equipment manufacturers, optics manufacturers, pump and valve, and sports and leisure. The way that we're approaching business today is to find ways for the machines to do more and the operator to do less. Most recently, we purchased a DS30Y behind us. That machine has taken a part we are currently running from a two operation to one operation complete, and we're doing it in less time. So the part that we are running on our DS30 is critical in the alignment of milled components and cross milled components. We had a hard time doing that on a lathe mill operation. Putting on the DS30, the two spindles are synchronized, they work together, and it's a much better quality part coming off. There was a dramatic improvement of quality of the part that came off. Um, we now hold plus or minus one thou all day long unattended. The machine is still about 90% with Haas brand tooling. It's been running about two weeks with the same inserts in it. It's, it's pretty amazing. The DS30 has reduced our cycle time maybe 20% but then in volume that it's able to do with the addition of the bar feeder and probing features with the lights out is immeasurable. We're basically able to add another shift of parts without having to add a body. From a cost savings standpoint, the UMC has allowed us to reduce our setup time through the probing feature and, and the loading of tools. The setup time obviously has reduced the, some as well due to the number of vices and the transition of parts through it. We've taken parts up from our mills where we're running three vices to a fourth axis. We then transitioned it to our UMC 750 and we're running it on two vices. That means the operator touches it half the time and we're getting a better quality part because the machine can orient everything and reliably position the components to each other. One of the other features that we really like is that we're not buying as much custom tooling. You can use an end mill to do chamfers on the side of a part, the table turns. You can reduce the tooling in the machine to reduce the number of tool changes to help reduce cycle time. We found with the 750 that we can do many different jobs that had multiple steps previously in two vices. So we can rotate everything on vice one, and then remove material on vice two and it's a complete part, one shot. Dynamic work offsetting helped us switch to, from a three axis to a five axis. By making the switch from the program easier, we literally just put the G254 into the program and ran it on the five axis and it works. Haas has been a really big help in helping us earn business and keep business. The reliability of the machines and the uptime that the machines have has been immense. We can rely on the machines to run the parts that we need when we need them and deliver the quality part that our customers are expecting. I don't look at this business as a machine shop, I look at it as a technology center. When we were founded as a machine shop, it was mechanical, it was dirty. Today, it's CNC's, it's computers, it's robots.